Welcome back, dear friends. In this report, I'm going to tell you two stories about Tesla Giga Berlin. The first one is that Tesla Power Pack is spotted at Giga Berlin, which is hinting that the plant's broader sustainability goals, that Tesla at Giga Berlin may have a broader sustainability goals. And the second one is about how Tesla wants to save on car production based on what we see happening at Giga Berlin. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. And please give us thumbs up like this video we would greatly appreciate i want to apologize for my voice i have little cold i went to a northern part of armenia where i am now and that little cold in the evening it was windy weather so that's why but i hope to get better in the next couple of days so eva fox reports from the tesmanian.com that tesla power pack is spotted at giga berlin which we see from a video shared on youtube which is hinting that tesla giga berlin plant may have much broader sustainability goals. She says Tesla power pack has been spotted at Giga Berlin. The appearance of Tesla's power pack at Giga Berlin uh, of Tesla's energy products suggests that the factory is being designed as an energy sustainable facility in which innovation or innovative solutions will be applied. So we're going to see what type of innovative solutions Tesla will apply at Giga Berlin. Uh, Fox says in one of the latest videos of a flyby of Tesla Giga Berlin's factory by a Twitter user, Jim Bob, uh, spotted one Tesla power pack. It was located right next to the paint shop of Giga Berlin factory. The video creators, the Wolfpack Berlin YouTube channel, reviewed several of their last videos and found that utility and business energy storage was first spotted there on June 5, several, you know, like several weeks ago. Judging by the video and photos, it seems that the power pack is still not connected to the grid, as we cannot see the cables leading to it. In addition, there are some building materials around the power pack unit at Giga Berlin in the immediate vicinity, and the ground looks uneven and completely unprepared for installation. With all this in mind, it seems that the energy storage is not yet connected. Eva Fox also says that installing a power pack at Giga Berlin can be indicative of several things. The first thing that comes to mind is that it can be used for a charging station on the premises of the factory. At this stage, it may be necessary to test the charging capability of vehicles as part of testing production processes. Also, power pack can be used to stabilize the grid. Power cables leading to the Giga Berlin factory were recently set on fire, if you remember, which could lead to power outages. Perhaps the company wants to protect itself and have a backup power supply that is able to stabilize the grid during outages. In addition, the power pack could have been transported to Giga Berlin as part of renewable energy supply deployment. The factory in Germany, Tesla's Giga Berlin factory, should be equipped with solar panels on the roof and aim to use renewable electricity. While at the moment it seems that it is too early to talk about the deployment of solar panels on the roof of Giga Berlin, given the unpredictability of Tesla, this possibility cannot be ruled out. So what do you think? When do you think Tesla will put solar panels on the top of Giga Berlin? Let us know please your thoughts in the, connect, uh, in the comment section below and also let me know your thoughts on the power pack. What do you think Tesla Tesla will do with this power pack? What do you think Tesla's goals are with this power pack or Tesla energy products at Giga Berlin? And how many of you, how many of these power packs do you think Tesla will use at Giga Berlin? So it will be interesting to read uh, your thoughts and also please subscribe to our channel as I'm going to bring you more from Giga Berlin. As you can see from our channel, I bring daily Giga Berlin news and I would greatly appreciate your support on this. Now I want to tell you a little bit about how Tesla wants to save on car production. RBB24, Brandenburg's public radio, has coverage on this by Philip Barnstorff, who says battery factory, huge casting robots, and new plastic production 
Tesla has big plans in Grünheide, where it's building its German Gigafactory, known as Giga Berlin. Tesla Group has to do that as well, building battery factory because the cars are still not profitable and the competition is lurking. You need to get great batteries in order to make your cars profitable because battery is 40% of the electric vehicles um, components or price. So Tesla doesn't make any money with its cars. Uh, Philip Barnstorff says, I don't know in what ways, but instead a large part of com uh, company's profit comes from trading bitcoins and carbon credits. Do you agree with this point? Do you think Tesla doesn't make money from its cars? Then how Tesla makes profits? At least this is what uh, Philip Barnstorff says in RBB24. And I will have the link to RBB24's this coverage in the description of this video. So um, in the long run, this is an unpredictable business model as Tesla CFO Zachary Kirkon told the American broadcaster CNN in February. So it is not surprising that that Tesla wants to produce its cars more efficiently and cheaply in Grünheide. I think Philip means that Tesla didn't make any money years ago, but now recently Tesla has turned into profitability. Obviously, Bitcoin has helped that very much. Now, uh, talking about battery revolution, the battery car, electric vehicle car battery is particularly important. It is the most expensive individual part in electric cars. And so far, almost all manufacturers have bought them mainly from suppliers in Asia, companies like Cattle, LG, SK, uh, Cattle, LG Chem and Panasonic. And of course, another big producer of electric car batteries is SK Innovation. According to uh, so Tesla now wants to produce uh, the current available construction plans in Grünheide batteries as well itself. According to Elon Musk, Tesla should be able particular to make particularly cheap uh, batteries and offer more range to its cars by building its new batteries, 46 by 80, 4680 batteries, which Tesla announced uh, in last year during battery year. Particularly important here, the individual battery cells are larger and are packed more tightly energy. That has already happened, but that's not uh, uh, very uh, uh, unpredictable because the small all electronics per module are no longer needed, the costs go down, says Sven Bauer from BMZ, a company that produces batteries for construction machinery, for example. And the battery becomes more stable because now the cell is its own plate and a load bearing part. The aim of the battery is to improve the overall rigidity of the electric vehicle. Now, Tesla also wants to break new ground in car body production. Many manufacturers combine many individual parts with one another, says Stefan Bratzel from the Center for Automotive Management, Automotive Research Institute in Bergisch Gladbach. Tesla, on the other hand, casts large parts of the body in one piece with the help of a few aluminum casting robots the size of a small house tesla wants to save many small welding robots production steps and cost according to stefan bratzel car manufacturers normally create around 25 percent of the added value in the production of a car themselves suppliers take car take care of the rest bratzel estimates that if tesla lives up to its announcement and takes over classic supplier production such as batteries, plastic parts and seats itself, Tesla's share of value creation could increase to at least 35%. But Tesla is not alone in its strategy of producing expensive, important parts itself, such as battery. German companies are now also thinking about their own batteries, says Maximilian Fichner, who researches batteries at Ulm University. In fact, you probably, if you have missed my previous report, report look at my previous report on how most German companies just last week decided to make a huge U-turn in terms of batteries and battery cell production. I have very interesting details there. So check out that uh, report, please. Now, Volkswagen, for example, is planning six battery factories in Europe. The Wolfsburg wants to, uh, Wolfsburg company want to work with the Swedish Nordwold. If you do it all on your own, you wouldn't be able to do it in terms of time. Tesla has head starts. Continued Fitchner, automotive experts estimate that Tesla's lead in battery technology is around two years. 
use. So it is not surprising that the company is in such a hurry to build a factory in Brandenburg. So it is also depends on what is happening in Grünheide, whether Tesla will soon also be making profits with cars. Well, friends, let me know what your thoughts are on all these developments and Tesla's energy products at Giga Berlin. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Have a great day, everyone. Please subscribe to our channel and give us thumbs up for this report if you found it informative. I would greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you soon in our next report. God bless you, everyone, and peace be with all of you. Have a great day.